Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel to go funny long back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do for us. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. I hope all of you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to a Dr. Zakinaik video. But it's not the title is not in English. Hopefully there'll be subtitles. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim, wikulo Muhammadim, zidude wazara'i. Baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? Well, the sisters asked the question. She's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse 16, which says, Hikko mamitakim vikulli muhammadim zaidudi zairai baina Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's most sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted. And when it says Hikkumamitakim Vikulli Muhammadim, Muhammadim in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add M to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is respect for God. So, same thing to the name Muhammad, they add M and it means it says Muhammadim. So, if you read the original text, the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I asked this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Most of them did not. So I agree with you that the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, that not only is he mentioned by name, he's even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He's prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He's also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christians. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid. Many a time the ego comes in between. Many a time the society comes in between. Many a time, what will my friends tell me? What would my customers tell me? So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize, they wouldn't mind offending their creator just to please their family and their friends. Pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends. So those who realize the importance of creator, importance of almighty God, 
Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. Sister, I would like to ask you that are you a Christian or are you a Muslim? I've been studying Islam for about six months. Mashallah. So do you believe now that there is one God? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. No, I don't. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God? Yes. Mashallah. So if you believe there's one God, you believe Prophet Muhammad, messenger of God, and according to me, you are six months of research. Yes. <laughs> Your six months of research have brought you to the truth, sister. Pardon, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Those are tears of joy. Yes. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> When a person realizes the truth, that's what even Quran says that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness and joy that we have found the truth. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. So I believe the truth has freed you today, sister. Your six months of research has brought you to the truth. Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> Sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You're doing it out of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, I said in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Warasuluhu Warasuluhu I bear witness I bear witness That there is no God That there is no God But Allah But Allah And I bear witness and I bear witness that, that Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is the messenger that is the messenger and servant of Allah and the servant of Allah servant, servant of Allah MashaAllah sister you're a Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as he has guided you may Allah make you a source to guide the other non-Muslims towards Islam and I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the Akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah. interesting i've actually reacted to this before i'm very very sure but someone suggested it i guess for bringing it back to the top of the timeline um i mean she had a very very valid question which many of us ask but don't want to admit if muhammad is actually in the bible what harm is there i always ask this in my videos and i like the fact that Dr. Zaki Naik mentioned that for those Christians that have actually gone deeper to understand or even study uh, religions, get to discover the, the truth about Muhammad. He's in the Bible, he's this, he's a prophet of God, and life moves on. They, even, they may even accept Islam. And another thing is um, Muhammad is a person like any other person, and Muhammad is a prophet 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 like the prophets before him he came to spread the word of god to make sure that people understood there was only one god and not to pray to others just like the previous uh, prophets did why dispute the fact that he's actually a prophet of um god what what did he do different that people don't want to accept otherwise if Muhammad is in the Bible, good. Just look into it. It doesn't mean you have to convert or revert. Just accept the fact. These, these things have to take steps in life. Just accept and understand 
and try to understand or familiarize yourself with the message that Muhammad came with and you will see for yourself if you want to follow anything that came from Muhammad or totally ignore it. Otherwise, I always love when people revert, convert, whichever word is correct in this situation and I just love what the sisters do at the end of the up the end of the after saying the shahada otherwise love this video let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video